Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sam Pro here, and today we're going to be learning how to create a window skin. This is designed for MV, but uh, the same manner could work for VX and up. XP is slightly different, but you could use the same basic setup, and RPG Maker 2003 is just entirely different altogether. So using this little template, we're going to open it up in the GIMP or any other art program you want to use. And we're going to use the show grid and snap to grid option, and we're going to configure the grid to be 12 by 12. Our next step is to make a new layer and name it container. Then we're simply going to fill in this little section here with a gradient. Now the next step is to create a border layer and everything that you see in yellow here is where is basically where the border is going to be. Now you can style the border however you want. But if you want to follow along, then go ahead and watch this part. If not, go ahead and skip to the little time link I have in the video and you can kind of skip the creation of the border. Now we need to create the little directional pointers and we can do so pretty easily by just drawing a little arrow and then giving it a small blur effect and then just resharpening the edges and then making sure that they point in the same direction like so. Top being up and then bottom being down, left being left and right being right. We're also going to go ahead and create the little animation that pops up when the little message window thing is done typing out its text. To do this I'm just going to go ahead and copy the down arrow and place them in the locations that you see like so and just kind of animate it to where it looks like it's being kind of squished down and almost as if it's bouncing. Play around with the animation until you get what you like, but I personally like this one. As for the text colors down here, I'm just going to keep those the default because I feel like the default are just fine. But if you want any information on what's happening with these, when you do the backslash C command and you type in a number, uh, going from top left to bottom right and incrementing numbers, that is the number, that is the color that you're going to get when you input that number. Hence, I just leave them blank because there's already plenty of colors to choose from. I would only adjust this if for some reason you felt like you needed to change the HP bar colors and stuff like that. Now, this section here is the little cursor thing. So like whenever you're hovering over a menu item, this is what's going to be displayed here. I usually just kind of draw a box and then like put a little gradient inside of it, like a semi-transparent gradient. Last but not least, we're going to make a very small little texture over here. It's going to be barely noticeable. And uh, this area here basically kind of loops. Uh, it loops the it loops the, loops the texture across uh, the entire window, so it's not going to stretch it out. Like um, you can have chains, for example, or whatever you want. And after that, you're done. All you have to do is save it as window.png inside your system folder and test it out. 